if Iran has allies, if there's, you don't think anything like that could possibly happen? Well, it depends on what you do. Like, if, if, if you send a missile directly into, into the Ayatollah's bedroom, uh, you might have an actual war. But that's not what we're talking about. It, 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 pe people, people look at this because they don't understand the Middle East. They don't understand the foreign relations. They don't understand war. And so people believe that it's a binary choice. You either do nothing and you let them keep hitting you, or you're in an all-out war. And that's never true. There's a lot of options in between. And I think that's what people need to understand. Uh, you know, why the president said that, I, I don't know. Nobody's talking about going to actual war. There's nobody introducing a bill to declare war in Iran right now. Uh, it, that's, that's really not on the table. But you do need deterrence. And, and, and let's just look back to President Trump days. He killed Qasem Soleimani while he was on a layover in Baghdad. You want escalatory. That was, that, was, that was pretty escalatory. But what it also did was reestablish our deterrence and sent a message to the Iranians that you should not mess with us because we are willing to do things you didn't think we were willing to do.